What's up guys and welcome back to Job Site Conditions right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be showing you guys how to transform bland, boring looking stamped concrete into an investment that your customers will be proud of for years to come. And if you're a DIYer, well your concrete walkway or patio is going to be the talk of the neighborhood. This is going to be a step-by-step -step video from tools and mixing all the way through applications. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So today's project is gonna rate as a two on our DIY meter. And the product we're gonna be using is this texture enhancer right here from DecoCrete. And this is available in a wide variety of colors. Now texture enhancer can be used on new stamped concrete when you stamped it with clear liquid release and this will add that antiquing effect. Or it can be used on older stamped concrete once that original antiquing has started to wear off. It's also really helpful uh, in hiding minor color inconsistencies on the concrete surface. No matter what the reason you're using it, it's always gonna be mixed and applied the same way. Before we get started uh, mixing and applying, I just wanted to run over a couple really, really basic tools uh, that we're gonna need now that uh, we're out here on site. And so the first thing, you know, as always, we always like to have a leaf blower with us. Um, again, we never know what might have happened um, from cleaning or yesterday, and uh, maybe there's some water on here. We need to blow the slab off. So leaf blower. As far as mixing, we're just gonna need a simple five gallon bucket. Now I like this one because it's got lines on it that I can see exactly how much uh, water is in there, but a normal five gallon pail will work, but then we might need to have an additional uh, measuring um, container. This is probably one of the most important, important things is this gonna be this brush right here. And it's important that it is this exact brush. And uh, the cool thing is this is gonna be the right bristles that we need and it's still small enough that we can get down in our pail with it. So we're gonna need that some sort of a handle to put on that brush. I like this one because it extends. And then the only other thing is just a, a mixing paddle here. And we're gonna mix this up initially right in that pail, although we're not gonna focus too much on that because we're gonna constantly mix it as we go along. So now that we got all our tools out, we're ready to get mixing. Okay, so I got my two gallons of water in the pail here. Now all I have to do is open up my lid on my texture enhancer and inside here there is a scooper and we're just going to give it one scoop per gallon. So I got two gallons in there. I'm just going to give it two scoops. So that's it. I got my powder in there and all I'm going to do is just take a normal paint stick and give this a little bit of a stir. Um, and again, I don't have to get too crazy here because we're going to continuously mix this as we go along. So I wanted to point out two things about the surface that we're putting this texture enhancer on. Uh, one of them is the fact that this is actually a restoration job. Uh, this is, I'm um, out here um, on site with the concrete doctors. And so this is actually something, some stamped concrete that was poured, you know, quite a few years ago. And now it's went through a restoration process to bring that antiquing back. Now this isn't always necessary. Just make sure to test the concrete first with the solution found in our sealer survival kit. Once you're sure that there is no sealer present, you can follow the washing instructions in this video video right here. The other thing you can see here is that our surface is completely dry. Uh, we don't have any dampness at all and we have some options there. We can put this on a completely dry surface just like it is right now or uh, if we wanted to it could be slightly damp. Now we don't want any standing water or puddles or anything like that but a little bit of dampness will actually give you a little bit more forgiveness with the product if it's your first time um, but keep in mind it will make it uh, take longer to dry and it'll actually make it run more also and so the biggest thing when it comes to a wet or dry surface is we just want to be consistent. If we start a dry we're going to continue dry the whole way and if we start a damp uh, we're going to continue damp the entire way also. So as I uh, get ready to start applying this stuff I want to keep a couple things in mind now first of all you know I already gave that a pre-mix uh, when I added it to the water but it settles really fast so every time that I stick this brush down into that bucket uh, that's what's going to pull my material out for me but when I go down in there I'm going to go all the way down into the pail and I'm actually going to give it a little bit of a mix. So now that I've had my brush down in and I've gave it a mix it's actually ready to pull my brush out and start to apply uh, the texture enhancer and just keep in mind that you know that the main reason for this brush is really just to get it out of the bucket and onto the surface and I mean I'm going to use that to spread it around a little bit but I'm not using it like a paintbrush to actually you know paint the whole surface with it so as I uh, bring it out I'm just going to give it a slop and let it run right on the surface and then I can take my brush and the biggest thing that I'm looking for is I don't want to leave any dry spots um, you know if there's a little um, hump in the concrete I want to make sure I push it up over top of that and then after 
after that, once I got it spread out, I'm just gonna watch for puddles. I'm gonna continuously bring back uh, any of those puddles I'm creating and I'm just gonna keep moving. And uh, we're, me and Billy are gonna go ahead and get started and um, it's not gonna take us long to do this area right here. So you guys can see now that I'm applying this stuff, I've got a pretty good representation of what it's gonna look like, you know, once that sealer goes on. But just keep in mind, you know, as me and Billy keep going here, we're gonna do this whole area. This stuff is gonna start to dry up on us. And, you know, just like powder release, when, when it's, uh, you know, dry and it hasn't been sealed yet, it's just not gonna look right again. So um, just always keep in mind that after an hour or two, this is not gonna look good again until we get that sealer on it. So as you can see, we're almost finished up here. Um, and then the biggest thing is we're gonna have to let this dry. And uh, this doesn't mean to just let it dry visibly because honestly, after an hour or two, it's gonna look dry enough that we're gonna be ready to seal. But this is really important that uh, uh, putting all this texture enhancer down, we really have saturated the slab with a lot of moisture. And uh, the best recommendation is to let this dry for a full 24 hours before going on to sealing. Uh, we get back here tomorrow. We may need to do a little bit of touch up work before sealing. And this can be done with a 17 inch buffer machine and a scrubbing pad or a scotch bright pad on a pole. Dry buffing this can help to, you know, remove some of those brush marks from today's application or even out any minor inconsistencies. Now I could buff the entire surface. This will actually create more contrast by removing some of that antiquing from the high spots. And once all the buffing's done, all we need to do is blow all that powder off the slab with a leaf blower and we're ready to go on to sealer. And this transformation of this stamped concrete is now complete. Special thanks to the concrete doctors for letting us hang out on their job site today. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really helps our channel out. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.